Well, cleaning is one of the most important industries in the world, yet many of the people undertaking this work are invisible to us. Now, it is time to recognise the hard work that often goes unnoticed. Last Wednesday was Thank Your Cleaner Day, a day dedicated to cleaners. So here to tell us all about this is Sarah McBride and Shashika. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to have you in the studio. Absolutely lovely because you're right, it does go unnoticed sometimes, doesn't it? But if your bin's not empty and things aren't done, people get very aggressive. Well, they can do it my work anyway. And um, Sarah, you're the CEO of Building Service Contractors of New Zealand. So why is this such an important day to celebrate? There is 30,000 cleaners in New Zealand. Gosh, that's a lot. Mm. It's a lot more than people anticipate yeah. or realise. And primarily the hours that they work start from 6 o'clock at night till 6 o'clock in the morning. So they're not seen. Um, so they're just such an important part of New Zealand. They keep New Zealand clean, hygienic. Our businesses really would suffer. Our food manufacturing would stop. Mm. Our hospitals couldn't function. Our little kids couldn't go to school if cleaners didn't do what they did for us. So that's why this job, this day is so important to stop and thank them. Absolutely. Uh, now, as a member of the association, there's a code of practice that must be adhered to as well. Mm -hmm. So what sort of requirements and conditions does that help with? The BSC members, uh, 50 years ago, they actually, we've been around for quite a while. We have the longest employment collective agreement in New Zealand. Wow. Yeah, so which, we, which we're very proud of, which means that we've actually been caring for our cleaners for 50 years. But the, the group of members that we, we have together, we actually pay above minimum wage um, and we, we do negotiations with union as a group and we also to adhere to this code of practice. We all agreed upon what the code of practice should be and there really is just one clear a goal and that is to raise this cleaning standards in New Zealand yeah. uh, to make it a better place for our cleaners. So obviously that is a, of great impact to the cleaners isn't it? It's really helping them. Oh yes, so if you say to your contract cleaner are you a BSC member then you're guaranteed to also that they've been independently audited, they're paying above minimum wage and also too that there's a code of practice that they're actually working really hard to keep to. That's excellent. Now Shashika you came to New Zealand seven years ago so tell us a little bit about your story and why you're so passionate about your work. So I came seven years ago in New Zealand. So while I while I was studying, um, I did some part-time uh, job as a cleaning. Yeah. So 20 hours. Oh, that time I realized uh, it's really good opportunity to move on. Yeah. So yeah, I really like for the cleaning. So you so, were studying to be a chef, but then you went, hang on, actually, I think I want I want to be cleaning instead. Yeah. And what does Thank Your Cleaner Day mean to you? And more importantly, how was it for you? Uh, actually, it was a wonderful day. Uh, it is the day to uh, celebrate and say thank you for the, all the cleaners, uh, to their dedication and hard work for all the year. Mm. Uh, actually, uh, especially for um, our all the uh, cleaning members, uh, enjoys receiving the um, the really uh, valuable gift uh, pack. Mm. And on that day, uh, it's feeling great. And it's also nice to have a bit of recognition, isn't it, for a job well done? Because you're right, you work out quite often overnight and people don't see you in the office, but everything has to be, has to be perfect for the mornings. Um, now, Sarah, what is it about the cleaning industry that needs to change and how does the, or how has the BSC helped with these changes? The focus really needs to come off price and they need, we need to start thinking about the cleaner. Mm -hmm. um, when you put a cleaning contract out there, 80% of the price that will come back to you will be wages. Right. So if a cleaning company comes in and they're dirt cheap compared to everybody else, I would just really encourage people to ask themselves the question, mm. you know, how and what why are you paying? Are they, what are they doing this mm. when 80% of this is, is consists of labour? So it's a very labour heavy intensive industry and so if you're to be sustainable you really are to put, concentrate and focus on what makes your business up and what makes your business powerful and work mm. and for us it's cleaners. It's the people isn't it's it? The people. So is there a way that we can help with these changes? Again, ask them if they're BSC members. <laughs> We're always looking for more cleaning companies to join us. Uh, we really want them to join us because we have a code of practice that we adhere to mm. because we want to make New Zealand a better working conditions for cleaners. Um, we pay above minimum wage and you'll notice that there's no, been no striking cleaners in New Zealand. Um, and also too, we really are grateful for what they do and we work together to make conditions better for cleaners. And the gift box that we sent out to cleaners for Thank Your Cleaner Day um, we had a, I worked with the Mental Health Foundation right. and these are the six well-being um, things you can do at work. 
Excellent. Uh, to ensure your mental health well-being. So this message was included inside the gift box, which um, was to really special and important to me as the mm. CEO, the cleaners, and even myself read a couple of these things and thought, I can do a bit better. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and so you yeah, and that, and of course, too, just a message on behalf of the many wonderful sponsors that also helped me get this to... Incredible gift. Yeah, incredible out. gift. At a retail value at $78. Wow. Um, so, yeah, so it was... Nice prezi to get. I, I know. I, I, so, <laughs> we got some very positive feedback. I they bet, loved it. I bet you yeah. did. Now, Shashika, do you have any advice to people that are maybe thinking about joining the cleaning industry? Yeah, actually, it is a skill. Um, you have to learn a lot of um, technology mm -hmm. and uh, learn a lot of uh, new uh, machine and stuff. Mm. And uh, if you are passionate well, to the cleaning industry, you have uh, you have a lot of opportunity to, in your future. Yep. Right, so you've got to learn new skills and apps. And you love your job, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And, and Shashika, forgive me, has yeah. done very well in his career. Also, he's, he's done fantastic. That is so. awesome. Hey, well, it's been a pleasure having you both in the studio. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us. Now, to find out more about Thank Your Cleaner Day, you can head to their website or Facebook page on screen right now.